Hello everyone, I'm going to be telling today about desert locusts. Swarm of desert locusts of biblical proportions have devoured the entire vegetation of the Egyptian empire in the past. Presently, the situation in the world is similar and rising monthly and this has been reported worldwide. Locust swarms have infested East Africa, the Middle East and South Asia. Now the locust swarm has entered India. These small but harmful insects who when come together as a collective unit devour every crop in their path. Each swarm can cover 1200 square kilometer and there can be as many as 80 million locust swarm. Entire harvests have been destroyed causing starvation and poverty for millions of people in Africa and the Middle East. Around 20 million people are experiencing food insecurity and further 15 million in Yemen which is also being affected by the pest. The perfect biblical storm. The FAO of the UN is continuing to work with national government farmers and agricultural producers and have managed to raise $150 million to tackle the problem. In spite of our technology and research, we are still a long way from overcoming the locust threat. Egyptians had no technology at all for fighting locusts. They had to surrender to their fate. Even Pharaoh begged for mercy. The Bible reports that they covered all the ground until it was black. They devoured all that was left after the hill. Everything growing in the fields and the fruit on the trees. Nothing green remained on tree or plant in all of the land of Egypt. Exodus 10.15 God created locusts on the fifth day. Locusts are a type of grasshopper and by itself is harmless and shy and a solitary insect. The major difference between the two is their behaviour. They have two antennas, six legs, two pairs of wings, grow to around two to five inches, body weight two grams, female are usually larger than males. The food that the locusts eat are leaves, flowers, fruit, seeds, stem and bark, rice and sugar cane. The natural enemy are flies, bees, wasps, birds and reptiles. Interesting facts. Used as food by John the Baptist when he was in exile. They fly at 10 to 12 miles an hour for about 20 hours or more and travel great distance and can cover 75 miles per day. Locusts have short antenna. Grasshoppers have long ones. Destroy everything edible with voracious appetite. The first insect ever drawn by humans was a locust. Locusts flap their wings non-stop for 17 hours, jump 70 centimetres. Locusts sing or make noises by rubbing their rear feet and grasshopper by rubbing the electrode between them. Rubbing increases serotonin level. Grasshoppers are commonly eaten in Africa, Central and South American countries and also served at certain restaurants even in London. The insect is a very good source of protein. Species there are around 11,000 known species of grasshoppers found around the world and are often coloured in a way that camouflages them in their local habitat. Green ones in grassy fields, sandy coloured in dirt and desert areas. Locusts have no king, yet they advance together in ranks. Proverbs 30, 27 King Solomon, the wisest man, knew so much in details about trees, plants and insects and pointed out a lesson of great wisdom. Locusts know how to work autonomously, as well as in harmony as a group. When they unite as one, they can factually devour the entire nation. But when we unite as one with fellow believers, we increase in might and can reach the entire nation with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Without a leader, they travel in large coordinated swarms that still frighten men today. The values of joining together with others. When the locust population increases and when they come in contact with other locusts, they go through a change of phase and become social and gregarious. They form swarms. A swarm of locusts can destroy plants and crops and turn it into a natural disaster. If a swarm passes through a place, they're coming from a distance, sounds like racing chariots. The locusts have similar thoughts, flying groups, similar spirit and work in unity and fellowship. We too can be successful in fulfilling God's will for his kingdom. Flying direction of the wind that blows. A locust is not a great flyer but is a great hopper. A locust can jump 2.3 feet. The swarm of locusts migrates along with the wind, so when the wind is blowing, all the locusts need to do is jump and the wind carries it along. A locust weighs around 2 grams, although not light as a feather, but light enough for the wind to carry it along. The wind navigates and takes them to where it goes. The wind symbolises the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer. The direction of the wind is similar to the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the will of God. They listen to the noises made around. The great success of locusts depends on many other factors. They don't fly such great miles without their own strength. They are too frail to cover massive distances on their own abilities. But they have the capacity to listen. In conclusion, we can learn lesson of unity and teamwork. Whatever we do as individuals is very little for the kingdom of God. If we unite together as one, we will achieve great things.
It's not by our power, but the power of God that great things can happen.